as two of the robots for the Red Alliance are in the auto zone. 343 moves into the auto zone as well. They get four points for doing that. All three robots fully positioned inside the auto zone. Now the robots take off. And they're going to try to score as many points as possible. There are no averages involved in the finals. If you win, you win. As 108, Sigma Cat picks up two totes from the landfill. 5608 spinning around. At the landfill is 4468 Fernbank Links and Lassiter Robotics working on the field trying to score as many points as possible to stay alive in the finals as Litter goes flying across the field. 4188 and 343, they're building those stacks in their bots. We already have 10 points on the field, as I can see, for the Red Alliance. We have eight points on the field that I can see. No, we have 12 points for the Blue Alliance that I can see right now. As 4188, that's the Columbus First Alliance. They place a stack and cap it. That's four totes, eight points with attack, recycle. That's 30 points over there. There's a 42-point stack placed by Metal in Motion. As the point continues to climb, there's a 42-point stack for the Blue Alliance as well. 4468 Fernbank Links. They're placing another four stack on the scoring platform. 5608 capping off a three-toed stack. That one worth 24 points. There's a lot of scoring on the field as we still have 35 seconds left to go in the match. A lot of scoring potential. The Blue Alliance trying to stay alive in this match as 343 continues to stack and completes another 42-point stack at 20 seconds left to go in the match. There's another 42-point stack going up on the Blue Alliance. It's going to come down to who has the most totes. That's the way it looks right now. Who's going to make it? Will the Blue Alliance stay alive, continue to a Final match number three, or will the Red Alliance take this one?